Okay, guys. Um, it's good. Really good uh, effort by our team. I was very proud of them, and uh, try to answer any questions I can to help you. Greg, Noah's performance overall. Just you know, how is he feeling now? And I guess how gutty was that performance? That's who he is. I mean, he is a tough, tough guy, and he's a tough, tough competitor. He got knocked out of the game twice. Um, the first time, I didn't think he was coming back, and uh, he just came back and executed at a very high level. And the stuff that he does that you know no one sees, no one knows about, getting it right, getting us right, is valuable for a quarterback. But very, very inspired. What did you think about Gavin coming into that and making that play? Just what was it like to see? Yeah, that was a beautiful job. I mean, he came in and avoided the rush and then put one right on, uh, I think it was Bo's chin, right? So big time play in a clutch situation. Greg, was the plan to play him at all, or was it just a matter of circumstances? No, we, we've been we've been Sean and I have been discussing how to get him involved slowly. Um, that was a you know he has a few packages that he's involved in, and we just felt like that was a, a good time to to throw him in there. If you were going to write it up, you know, beforehand though, fourth and eight on the road in a different difficult environment, that's what you would give a you know a kid who just turned eighteen that circumstance, right? Sure. <laughs> No, nah, that was uh, that was very very good. And obviously, for Cole to come in there on that first touchdown drive and kind of manage that, please me what he did. Really pleased. I, I'm pleased with the way that that was a team victory, right? We went through hot and cold spells a little bit. O and D. Um, the kicking game was consistent throughout the day. Um, I really think all three phases complemented each other. We were far from perfect, but that was, you know, what we said it was going to be. It was going to be a tough Midwestern football game in the you know, cloudy and kind of just you had to really get dirty today to win the game. And, and uh, I thought our guys just kept chopping every every play. And that's what we talked about. Can you Can you sustain that and stay focused? That's the hardest thing. And people think it's the physical part. The ability to stay focused for three and a half or four hours, that's hard at anything, right? No, not to mention, you know, when someone's hitting you. And So I, I thought that was our emphasis. I thought our guys last week in the bye week did a good job of getting back to basics. Our coaches, our players, we had to work through some things. Um, the offensive line, I've said to you guys all along, we'll, we'll go as far as they'll take us. I thought they did a good job today, you know. When we rush for over 200 yards, I think, you know, like any team, I'm sure, uh, we win most of the time. And uh, to be able to do that today was huge. And then to stop the run, conversely, defensively, after a team that went out and really ran the ball well a week ago, uh, to be able to stop the run was huge. Did you change anything during the open week fundamentally with the line? I know you didn't mix the match as much. Anything? No. You know, many times it's just about doing it better. You know, coach it better. So everybody says, well, you come up with a new, no, go back and say, okay, what, what do we emphasize? What's the most important thing? Guys can't grab on to 10 or 12 things. They can grab on to one, two, or three maybe. Let's go back to base. Let's make sure we're doing this. If the rest of this stuff happens, good for us. But we, we, we have to do this. And uh, I think staying focused on that through the bye week, through the practice week, and then through the three and three and a half hour game we've just played, that was the, that was the secret. Huge. Yeah, I mean, Kess is, you talk about a guy who's been steady Eddie. I mean, he has done his job all season long. Not a lot of fanfare, just kind of, but I mean, think about it. We had the situation without Max. Kess has been there every week, and uh, I'm proud of him. He's really grown. Could Gavin get more? I mean, obviously, you know, you can play four games. Okay, preserve the redshirt, or we'll get into that, you know, down the line. But could he play more going forward? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what that looks like. You know what I mean, Sarge? I, we just want to make sure that we're bringing them along the right way. And we, you know, I know you may say, well, fourth down in a big game on the road. But, you know, we, we wanted to do it on the road, get him his first shot on the road so there wasn't all the fanfare of our fans. You know, you don't want to hear the whole stadium go, ooh, you know. Uh, but 
I was pleased. I was glad we were able to get him in. Certainly glad he was able to do what he did. And uh, really glad that Noah was able to return and, and lead us to victory. You go ahead and touch that drive to Johnny play down the sideline. I mean, just how big was that? Huge. Johnny played really well. Johnny, the last three weeks, his career is going like this. Um, he's become a full-time tight end, yet still goes in and makes those plays at quarterback running the football. And um, But he's really becoming a, uh, a big-time tight end. And that's going to be really, really good for us moving forward. Your run defense, I guess, what do you think was so successful for you guys against them? Well, two things. Number one, I thought Coach Smith and the defensive staff did a great job assembling a plan. Not only a plan for their regular run game, but for that, whatever you call it, multiple lineman run game. But really, it comes down to the players executing the plan and then tackling. When we weren't successful, we didn't tackle the way we're capable. When we were, we did. And it was one ball that went over the top, and that's that can't happen. And we made an error on that play. But uh, tackling is the key. If you can be a great tackling team, you can play great defense. And uh, we weren't great tackling today, but we were much better than we were a week ago. And that's what's got to continue to improve. Aaron Lewis wasn't here. What, what was up with that? He was unavailable. Yeah, Aaron, um, he was violation of team rules, unavailable. Last nice question. You talked about during the week, um, you know, that it's been a long time since uh, Rutgers went into Halloween, went into November with something to play for. How much did this team just need this emotional lift to get a win after, you know, the four losses? We needed it. Yeah, I mean, as a head coach, I have to think about what if we don't, right? Where are we going? Because, you know, after the game is not the time to start thinking about that. But it, it wasn't a fun thing to consider. Um, we needed it, but it does. It gives us a chance to go into November, and it really matters. Like, we're playing for an opportunity. We can, as I've told our team, we have the ability to write the script. We hold the pen. Now, there'll be another team that's trying to write their script across the field from us. But that's really special to be able to do that in November. And you know, with that, we get to go home now to our fans, to our stadium, and play a really good Wisconsin team. And we need our fans. I, um, I don't know how else to put it, but we need you desperately next Saturday. 3.30 kickoff, plenty of time to get your stuff done and have a great, great Saturday. And we have to show up and play our best football because we're playing one of the better teams in our league. But uh, we're going to enjoy this tonight. And then we're going to get to work tomorrow. And um, I think this team is hungry for the next challenge. because, And we better be, because it's a huge challenge. But again, it gives we're in a position now where we can write the story in, in, in November. And that's it's been a while around here. So I, hopefully our fans are excited and will show up and, and really be that home field advantage that we've talked about at SHI Stadium. Thanks, guys.